Citizen science is scientific research conducted in whole or in part by amateur or non-professional scientists. It is known by many other names, including crowd science, crowdsource science, civic monitoring, volunteer monitoring, network science, or participatory monitoring or research. Citizen science has been known by other names throughout history, as native peoples first experimented with foods and medicines, amateur astronomers studied the sky, and hobbyists collected butterflies. Invention of the internet has been a boon to citizen science. The term of citizen science was first entered into the Oxford English Dictionary in 2014. Here are a few examples of early citizen scientists who paid careful attention to phenological happenings. Their reasons for doing this varied from curiosity to documentation of travels to understanding how best to tend to one's land. Thomas Jefferson kept detailed records of crops at his home in Monticello. Henry David Thoreau kept detailed records in a journal of plant phenology at Walden Pond. John Wesley Powell was an explorer and soldier in the 1800s who mapped various geological features, and Aldo Leopold and his daughter Nina Leopold Bradley kept detailed records at the shack in Wisconsin of plant and animal phenology, including arrival times of migratory birds. Citizen science is becoming increasingly prevalent in the peer-reviewed literature. We can see a dramatic growth between 1997 and 2014 in the number of publications featuring citizen science. The number of citizen science programs is also growing, providing an invaluable resource in the form of data collected. The Christmas bird count, celebrated annually since 1900, is one of the largest, longest-running citizen science programs, and is one of the largest ecological data sets available. Data from the North American Breeding Bird Survey, created in the mid-20th century, have contributed to hundreds of peer-reviewed publications. We can learn a lot from data collected by citizen scientists, as shown in this graph depicting change in the center of bird abundance for 305 widespread species over the last 50 years. These data were collected by citizen scientists through Audubon's Christmas bird count. We can see that the center of abundance has changed drastically in terms of the average number of miles moved north over the last 50 years. And yet, the significance of citizen science to research is greatly underestimated. In a study published in PLUS One in 2014, researchers evaluated a review of 10 claims of impacts of climate change on avian migration. They found no reference to citizen science in any of these publications, although citizen science actually contributed to many of the references. The author stated that the quality of data collected by volunteers on a project-by-project -project basis has generally been found as reliable as the data collected by professionals. Authors of one research study estimate that volunteers contribute to over $2.5 billion annually to biodiversity research. And what about those data from our early citizen scientists? Thoreau's observations of flowering plants that he recorded in his journals have been compared to the same species at Walden Pond in recent years. They found that, on average, species are flowering about seven days earlier than they did in Thoreau's time. There are a number of reasons for this, including the potential influence of the urban heat island in proximity to Walden Pond. However, the important thing to note is that without his valuable data set, we would not have information about what happened in the past. A second study, conducted by researchers including Nina Leopold Bradley, one of Aldo Leopold's daughters, demonstrates that the records her family has been keeping indicate the earlier arrival of some species to their farm in Wisconsin. Again, it's important to note that the exact reason for the earlier arrivals is not quite clear, but the real value is having such detailed records to draw upon. You too can become a citizen scientist. Join us in collecting phenology observations through Nature's Notebook and become a part of the USA National Phenology Network.